Hello everybody, welcome back to C-Sharp Tutorials for Beginners. This is number nine and we're going to be doing switch statements. Just like an if statement, a switch statement requires a conditional expression like a boolean. So we could say boolean condition equals true, but instead of saying if condition do something, we can say switch condition and then add a code block there. So the way this works differently from an if is in an if you would say if this condition is true we enter this block but with a switch we're saying hey here's our condition we need to test it and we're going to have multiple cases so you can only have two cases with a boolean so those cases would be true and false so we have two cases now in a switch statement we have to tell each case when we're done with the switch statement. So we have to put the word break followed by a semicolon at the end of every case. And when it hits this, we know we don't need to test the condition anymore. We found our case and we're done. So once this hits, we go all the way out of this scope. So once we find our case, we can do something like write a line. We could say, it's true and it's false and just like an if statement it's going to pick the path because our condition is false now we're writing it's false and if our condition is true we're going to write it's true you may be wondering if this is like an if where is the else because we have two specific cases that would be more like an if and an else if so to do an else in a switch, you have a default case. And really what that means is we've gone through every single case, but we didn't find a case that matches ours. So we're going to fall into a default block. Now, if you've covered every case, like this Boolean only has two cases, you'll never hit this default block. So it can never come in here. So if we try to put a break it's going to say unreachable code detected. So usually this will be hittable because you won't be able to hit every case. And that leads us to an important point because while this small example was good to explain what a switch does, it doesn't make sense to use a switch for a boolean because you can just say if condition and then else. And you could put these lines in here and it would do exactly the same thing in a much smaller, much more easy to read package. So now that we know what a switch does, let's blow away all this inside here. Let's change our bool to a string input. And sort of like what we did before, let's take some user input and do something with it. Let's put input in our switch. Let's go ahead and get rid of our if statement now so a scenario that would make more sense for a switch would be something like a simple chat bot so let's ask the user a question let's say console.write line no dot write let's say do you like cake okay so now we're asking them if they like cake and we're getting their response so I want to throw in a quick note that similarly to ifs you don't have to have curly braces after your case except with the cases your entire case can be multi-line you could say case yes console right line something and you could say break and then you could go down here and you could say default and you could say break and it's not so bad in a switch not to have your curly braces because you always have your breaks and your you can separate them with lines so that's how i'm going to do it going forward but if you feel more comfortable using curly braces like this, please continue to do so. So now we can easily set up our basic cases. We can say case yes, and then break. We can say case no, and break. And then we can set up our default case and break from it. So this is like saying if input is yes then we do this else if no then we do this else then we do this 
So let's go ahead and add our responses. Say, me too. For yes, we can say, what? You don't? For no. And if we get anything that's not yes or no, like a true chat bot, let's say, I didn't understand that. Now still, this is a simple example, but what it shows is how easy it is to add a new case. So say we wanted to throw in a new case. We just copy and paste one of our cases. Maybe we want to handle ew. We could say ew. What? And now, just like that, we have another case. And on top of that, a switch makes it very easy to enter an existing case with another condition. So say we want yes to say me too, but we also want case yeah to enter me too, and case sure to enter me too. And maybe we want case nah to enter what you don't. So this right here is a case that can be entered three different ways. So we can run this. So either yes, yeah, or sure will give us me too. Now to compare, if we were to try to do the same thing with an if, we could say if input equals yes, then we are going to write me too. Now to add yeah and sure, what we would have to do is use our logical operator or and say or input equals equals yeah or input equals equals sure. That way it would say if we get yes or if we get yeah or if we get sure then we go into here. So you can see that the if syntax starts to become a little bit clunkier and harder to read than the switch syntax depending on how many paths and options that you have along the way. So make sure you pick the right one for you depending on what you're doing. Next up we are finally getting to loops. So thank you for watching everybody. I do appreciate you. Happy coding and as always until next time, take care.